Hey everybody, welcome to Fishing Planets. I am the lady and today we're going to actually fish. Now if you watch my previous tutorial, uh, you'll see that I've already explained everything that's here and there's also stuff on the map and things like that. So I'm not going to explain that. But first thing that we will do before we head off to the lake is that we're going to the store, we're going to tools and equipment and what we're going to purchase is an uh, old denim shirt. Uh, the reason for that is because uh, it allows us to hold more tackles and more lines. And only until you reach level 5, you can purchase another one for normal currency. If you're level 4 and you like to spend your gold, you can also buy that one. But for now we're going with, uh, with this guy. So we're going to buy that. We have purchased it. I'm not going to buy uh, the hobby gear uh, yet already because right now we're at level 2 and we don't need it. We will need it when we once we reach uh, level 3. But I'll save that for a later video. Today it's all about getting from level 2 to level 3. So we're going back home and we see that we have already are already wearing our, uh, our new jacket. It's a nice denim. So here's uh, the setup that we start with. Uh, we had uh, we had to purchase uh, this one um, during the tutorial, and then here is our starting rod, our uh, bobber, our hook. I'm currently using the number six, and we've got red worms on it. This is the reel, and this is our line. If you press this button, you'll also see it right here. And as you can see, our setup uh, right now is uh, pretty good. Uh, we have. Uh, the rod that can hold up to three kilograms, which is the, makes it the strongest. Then our reel can hold up to 1.25 kilograms, which makes it the second strongest. And then our line, which is right here, I'll also add line that I have right uh, here in my home storage. You can see that it's tested on 0.9 kilograms. So if we get a snack, the first thing that's going to happen is uh, our line will break if we're not careful enough. So. I'm going to add this one. So before we go, um, every time you're going to leave your home, uh, make sure that you put everything in here. This picture resembles uh, your pack that you're carrying with you. And it allows you to bring your tackle, your line, and your baits and all, uh, all other kinds of stuff uh, that you'll uh, acquire uh, later on. If uh, anything stays here, uh, it means that you will not take it with you and also if your bag is uh, full right now you can see that you can carry one reel we can carry two lines and we can carry uh, 15 baits in total and um, hooks terminal tackle and once this is full and you purchase something at a local store at one of the lakes instead of that it will go into here it will go in your home depot so um if you buy something and uh, you can't find it anywhere here, go home, you'll see it here. Anyways, we're off to fishing. I'm going to start in Missouri. Right now, later on, I'll explain uh, the new area, Lone Star, Texas uh, Lake. Anyways, off to Missouri. As you can see, it's going to cost us 20 bucks just to travel there. And for each day that we stay there, we uh, have to pay five more bucks. So for just staying there the first 24 uh, hours you have to pay 25. Uh, I'm not going to add days by doing that. I'll uh, like to decide where, on which day I'm leaving instead of uh, paying a full price up front. So here we go. We're traveling. As you can see they have uh, tips right here. Make sure to read them uh, because sometimes uh, they're very handy. And now we uh, have to wait until we reach our uh, our destiny. Right, here we go. We're at Mud Runner River, Missouri. And the first day is a bright day, a sunny day. It's going to get 30 degrees. Right now it's 5 a.m. and our peak time starts uh, it starts at 7. Then between uh, 8 and 9 it's on its highest. And then it goes down a little. Then starting at say around 1 p.m picks up again, uh, the highest peak is on 3, and then it goes down again. Uh, it basically means that uh, here, between 7 and 9 p uh, a.m., 
um, between 1 and say 4 p.m. we can or 5 p.m. even we catch the most fish so that's a good thing to know uh, I'm going here last songs of summer I'm going to take a private room right now and there we go so as you can see right here it says five o'clock currently we're at 18 degrees it's a sunny day this is uh, the stringer that we have on us it allows us uh, a little over four kilograms uh, to carry with us and now we're heading down uh, to do so you press uh, the W button Let's go back you press the a S a and D makes you go sideways and then of course you can turn with your mouse so right now we're just going to fish our way up to level 3 as you can see here uh, I uh, can just cast out but if I press F11 it allows me to cast out further if you hit the right mouse button you can aim and then if you hold the left mouse button you'll see here this uh, it's going to appear once you hold the left mouse button you want to keep it held until it uh, reaches uh, this gray grayish area and then uh, let go of the left mouse button so we're going to do just that and we have a perfect cast now if it happens that uh, you uh, do an overcast or an undercast what will happen is instead of your line going uh, the place you want to be you will cast out only a couple of meters and then you have to reel back in and uh, do another cast so here it is we're at 12 meters right now our dragging is set on 2 our line speed is set on 3 I'm going to increase that uh, you can increase uh, the reeling in speed by uh, rolling on the, the scroll button that's on the, on the most mouses and now all we have to do is sit and wait you'll see that I move my rod from uh, time to time a little bit sideways and that's to prevent uh, getting a slack on the light and we had a fish that tried to bite but he escaped okay that can happen no worries, we'll just wait a little and see if we can uh, can find ourselves another fish. Now if nothing happens, I uh, I will reel in just a little, perhaps go to 10 meters. As you can see here, the current uh, is, uh, is pretty strong. And we have another uh, interested fish there. Let's see what we're going to catch. At this uh, point in time, I don't move my rod too much because I don't want to. Uh, uh, I want the fish to bite, and I don't want to lose it because I moved the rod uh, too much and uh, pulled the bait away. Still, I am going to adjust my uh, speed a little so that goes faster. And there we go. We have something on. So we're going to reel it in, and here we go. Oh! the smallest fish in uh, in game oh well it's uh, going to give us uh, two experience points as you can see it's uh, <laughs> it is very uh, little one so now we uh, because uh, we have the stringer here we uh, can uh, choose between either to keep it or to release it uh, because I need a box um, I'm inclined to keep it but because it's such um, uh, such little weight uh, does it add to uh, to my strength? It's not really worth it. I'm going to release this one. And right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast closer to the reeds, and because I know that right here on these spots there are bass and crappies, and they generate a lot more experience. And we want to level up pretty fast right now because at level three we get uh, casting rods and we can lure fish and that's a great way to uh, to track bigger bass and also uh, to catch uh, a bunch of pikes so we're going uh, after those and for the meantime uh, we just have to sit and wait until we uh, really we reach uh, the next level now as I said earlier peak times uh, start 
uh, in the morning it was uh, between seven and nine so if this doesn't work too much into oh it does uh, pick some interest here we go and let's hope that this is a bigger fish that we like to keep and not another uh, minnow here fishy fishy yes there we go and we've got ourselves a white crappy yay so as you can see right here this one weighs way um, weighs way more than uh, than the minnow did and we get five experience points so we are going to keep that one and we'll try uh, try catching another one. Oh no, actually, if we go uh, back, I'll show you that the peak times it started at, uh, at seven. So I'm going to fast forward the time to uh, to seven o'clock. To do so, you press the T button, and it will show up uh, this uh, pop up, and we can adjust time. So. If I were to forward right now, it would forward me towards uh, the closest uh, whole hour, which will be uh, 6 o'clock, but we want to fish on 7 o'clock. So here we go. Fast forward it, and you can see it's already getting brighter in the day. So we're going to try again. And we're going to guess right here. Because sure, those crappies love being close to the reeds. And if we're lucky even, you might even get your trophy. And trophies are great. They, uh, they generate a lot of experience points and quite some money as well. So we have uh, somebody's home already. And they sure like the red worms. Red worms are a, a good, uh, it's a good bait to fish with. Uh, you can catch almost anything with red worms. Uh, bread is also pretty good, but uh, in this situation I prefer... Oh, and we've got a big one on right now. It would be nice if this would be a bass or something like it. It's really going off. Nice. So what I'm doing right now is uh, I'm trying to stay calm. No, he's a jumper. Uh, and it doesn't do you any good to... Uh, go completely nuts over uh, on your mouse and uh, press both buttons in very hard and uh, cons uh, uh, how do you say it and keep them pressed for a very long time just take it easy take it slow try to reel on as much line as you can and from time to time lift up your rod anyways we've uh, got ourselves a young pardon me a young largemouth bass and it's pretty good gives us six experience points so we're definitely going to keep that one and we're now getting a menu up here pay attention to the weather if the sky is clay force forward to 8 a.m. the sky is overcast try 10 a.m. because these are our handy uh, tips to, uh, to catch here it shows us uh, when it also when you go to, uh, to the map it shows uh, the days and the weather and which times are the peak hours and peak hours are nothing other than just uh, telling letting us know of which times most fish uh, fish are caught so it's a good thing and then there's something about large crappy here it says they'll bite well on worms and hook number six is the best one uh, for depth they suggest 50 centimeters. I'm sticking with 75 centimeters because I also like to catch a couple of bass. And uh, at 50 centimeters you can uh, catch bass as well, but they they like to lay a bit lower in uh, in the water. And uh, here it says uh, cast your uh, tackle near the reeds and be patient. Very well. I do, uh, we're doing another cast. And hopefully we'll catch another bass. That will be, uh, will be great. Uh, also, if you uh, get on a higher level, you'll notice that uh, 
this spot right here is still a uh, uh, favorite among the bats. Uh, except for the trophy bats, they uh, like to lurk a little further down uh, down way, and in between the reeds. But this uh, this spot here, and you can cast here or up to there, you still catch them. Okay, so I'm getting a little bit of uh, slack on line. Going to reel in a little and put my line over there so it doesn't drag my bobber uh, halfway up the stream. Keeps it uh, more close to uh, to the reeds. And as you can see right now, we have another one that's uh, curious about uh, about our bait. So <coughs> Excuse me, let's see what spring is. Now this is not as uh, much as a fighter as uh, the previous one. And it's a crappy... oh no, a bluegill! So, bluegills are uh, are great too. Actually, here in the, in the Missouri, you can catch unique uh, bluegills. And unique fishes are one of the free ways to uh, earn yourself some gold. Now, these bluegills, they don't uh, uh, bring in that much gold. Actually, only just one gold per uh, unique bluegill that you catch. But you can catch them, and uh, if you're lucky, you can catch two. Uh, between the set hours. I'll make a video later on about it, on how to catch uh, a bluegill here, a, tr a unique bluegill. Because they're pretty easy to catch and it's easy money uh, on uh, on these levels. So here we go again. We're at 50 meters and again somebody's home. So let's see what, uh, what it's going to bring us. Yep, there we go. And this is a fighter, so... Uh, save this. Now with the latest patch, which, uh, which was launched uh, about a week ago, we uh, noticed that the fish uh, have began to fly. It's, uh, it's a funny sight, but it also makes it uh, a bit more difficult. And here we have another bass too, which is awesome. Five more experience points, 26 uh, centimeters, almost 27, and nearly 300 grams. So we're going to keep that one as well. Okay, I'm going to uh, fast forward this video until uh, I reach level three. Then we go back, uh, back home, and back to the store. And I'll show you what to uh, buy next, and then I'll conclude a bit so you can see uh, what's needed for uh, level 3 and how to make your way up to level 4. I'm down to my last 5 uh, experience points, so I think that if I'm going to have one more fish, I'll reach level 3 and so then we can continue. As you can see, right now it's uh, 8.41 in the morning and in total I've fished about 20 minutes right now, so it doesn't take you that long to, uh, to reach uh, the new level and I'm hoping to get a bite here right now anytime soon will be nice anyways as you can see I'm casting uh, quite close to the reeds and um, I do it because uh, the bass uh, love, uh, love the spot over there but um, it can also happen that you'll get your uh, tackle snagged by the reeds and for that I've made a, a different video uh, you can find it uh, on my channel, my YouTube channel. So please uh, watch that video, uh, and learn how to uh, untangle yourself from the snacks without breaking uh, anything of your gear. Because uh, it's quite important, it happens uh, early on already in the game. If you're uh, starting at level 2 and level 3, you're bound to get a couple of snacks. And it will still uh, happen when you're level 20. So please uh, have a look at that video. Okay, we uh, have uh, someone who's interested in my little worm. Oh, it tried to buy it, but it escaped. No worries, we just uh, wait for another one. I'm going to reel in some line because there's quite a lot of slack on it. And um, one of the things that you don't want to happen is that because you have so much slack on your line, uh, you don't strike uh, on time again and you'll lose the fish that way. So, now I've uh, 
reel in about three meters i'm going to reel into 40 meters will be a good spot as well and now we have to sit and wait again for our uh, next fish to bother i so hope it's not a minnow because then i have to do another cast and catch another fish <laughs> and then this video is going to take uh, a bit longer than i uh, expected it would be so let's hope uh, i look something uh, soon Nope, not getting any response here. You see sometimes a little blue on my line tension, but that's because I'm lifting up my rod. So I'm going to reel on some more lines, see if uh, you can catch a fish uh, at say 11 meters. And yes, someone's home there. So here we go. That went pretty well. We've got ourselves a white crappy and oh, <laughs> we're one point short in the, in the <coughs> excuse me, we're making it to the next level. So, okay. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. We have to do, uh, we have to catch one last fish. So, here it goes. Let's hope we get a fast bite and uh, a quick fight because uh, even though they're small fish, they can. Uh, some of them are pretty feisty and can be uh, a struggle to uh, to reel in. But if you think that uh, these are uh, struggles at, uh, at this level, sometimes it takes like a minute and a half, two minutes, three minutes sometimes to land any of the of the proper bass and catfish that you'll uh, see later on. Um, if you think those are big fights, uh, try the guards as uh, anywhere, say level uh, 14, 16, 18. Uh, some of those are real struggles and right now the game is not balanced very well because landing a trophy fish uh, a couple of days ago took a body of mine like four and a half real life hours and that's a bit too much it's uh, nice to have, have a big fight on your hands and uh, try not to lose your fish but if it takes four uh, real life hours it's, uh, it's way too much and it's not fun anymore and I know my uh, my own spouse and uh, child are not happy if I'm uh, sitting uh, that long behind the computer. Anyways, looks like uh, we're getting uh, another bite. There it is. Let's hope it uh, doesn't run off with uh, just the bait. Yeah, and there we go. Oh, this looks like it's going to be a bass. Yeah, it's already jumping. Flying fish. You must know I'm from the Netherlands, flying Dutchman. And there we go. We have ourselves a bass and we are leveled up. So we're going to keep this fish. And we're getting another pop up about time and how to get stuff. So here you see that we're level 3 right now. Yay for us. And also, if we level up, uh, the second way to earn gold coins is right here every level you uh, you get you also get a couple of gold coins so we're going to keep those right as you can see i've nearly uh, used all up uh, my uh, entire stringer so i'm going to press i it goes back to your inventory inventory excuse me and let's keep it a lot of caught so far so I've caught a couple of bluegills, a couple of white crappies, and then as you can see, young bass with red worms at a depth of uh, 75 centimeters. <coughs> Pardon me, which would be around say 20-25 inches. Uh, that's a good way to start. In total, here you see uh, see what's uh, being rewarded to us: two bucks, three bucks, and then of course our basses. Yeah. Uh, Earn us a little more, five bucks is the highest right now. And as for experience points, it's the same. Uh, Bass gives uh, more experience, three, six, five. Whereas crappies are five, three, and four. And the bluegills are uh, three. Remember that I uh, let go of the minnows. 
And the reason for that is that they only give uh, two points experience, I want more experience. And also the rewards are uh, two or only uh, one bug. So it's uh, not, not something that uh, I like to level up on uh, really fast, but it's okay if you catch them. Anyways, so in total we made 38 bucks. And right now, if we're going home, what I'm going to do is yes, we want to leave. We get the results of our fishing trip. Here you'll see uh, what we earned. Here you'll see a total reward. If there are any penalties, if you have caught a fish that you're not supposed to catch, or if you have kept a fish that you're not supposed to keep, you'll get a fine. Uh, make sure you have your licenses. Uh, can't say it uh, enough because people have gone into depth because they uh, hadn't updated their licenses. You can see how many fish we caught in total. It's 16. Uh, nothing escaped. I didn't have a line break. Uh, nothing snacked. Um, I wasn't lucky enough to get a uh, trophy or a unique right now. So anyways, we're going home with 60, 60 experience points, 38 bucks and free gold because we leveled up. So there we go. And the fishing results of today is, well, we had to pay the 20 uh, bucks uh, to travel and the five day. So the longer days you stay here, the more money you're going to generate. And then the higher your profit, your total profit will be. So right now it's only 13. Um, so if you like, you can stay longer. If your um, uh, stringer is full, just press the uh, T button, fast forward time to midnight, and then um, uh, it will sell all your fish and you're good to go. Okay, so now that we're level three, we're going back to the store and we're going to prep ourselves for level four. First off, we're going to buy ourselves a new rod, a second rod. Let me see here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you go to level lows first. Now you see that already we have the telefloat, which is a telescopic rod. But now we're also going to buy this one. The value is spin 119. Uh, 190. And um, for the non-metric users, there will be the six uh, foot free rod. So we're going to uh, purchase this one because this one is uh, going to allow us uh, to use lures. And we definitely want to do that because then we can also catch uh, other fish like pike. And you can catch bigger bass with uh, this as well. Right now with uh, only this uh, rod available to us. So this is what we're going to buy. Yes, we want it in. Then we go to the reels. Again, it's set on level lowest first. And we're currently having this wheel, the mini spin 800. And now we want to purchase this one, the 1200. Because here you can see the statistics. It has a the one that we have right now, it has a recovery of 50 centimeters. It uses mono braid, uh, uh, mono 0.12 or braided 0.12 and it has a max drag of 1.25 whereas this one uh, it has a recovery of 50 it can uh, hold the same line but it has a max drag of 1.55 so this one can handle bigger fish and that's exactly what we want we want to catch the big ones so we're going to buy this one as well and again uh, for the oh no uh, I think this in, in the non-metric user uh, setup is also called the mini spin 1200 so now that we've purchased that one, uh, lines, well, as I already said, both use uh, the O12. Um, you can buy the big spool for uh, 15 bucks. It's uh, one kilometer of, uh, of uh, line, uh, which is uh, pretty handy because then you uh, don't have to uh, hoard a lot of these in your inventory. You can just buy one big one. So I'll purchase that one as well. Now we go to tools and equipment. Okay, so now we're level three and we have a second rod, but we need something to carry that second rod with us. So we're going to purchase the hobby gear, which is 20 bucks. We already purchased uh, the old denim uh, shirt. And I also like to purchase uh, this easy go belt pocket because it allows us to bring more tackle and more line with us. So I'll do that. If you um, 
have uh, earned a lot of gold or if you've bought gold and you like to purchase this one. Um, what we have right now is this uh, Fitch uh, gel string is short. Uh, the max weight of a fish uh, it can hold is 1.4 kilograms and the total amount of fish that you can carry with you on a single day is 4 kilograms. Whereas this one allows you a uh, fish of 6 kilograms and the total fish weight of 9.1. Now uh, the max single fish weight 6 kilograms is not something that you're going to catch on level 3 or level 4. Um, However, the total fish weight, this one, this is interesting because it means you can fish longer because you can carry more fish and so your earnings will go up. Whereas this is, um, it uh, gets full pretty easily. You saw that I was on 3.8 uh, kilograms out of the 4 kilograms and my total fishing time was like 20 minutes. So uh, it means that each day you can only fish for like 20 minutes and then you have to fast forward to the next day. Whereas this one, you can uh, keep more fish. So um, it will be a good investment to purchase this one or later on if uh, you're a higher level you can uh, purchase something like this. Now there's a, a difference between stringers and fish nets that I already uh, like to explain even though this is at level 4. Um, fish stringers uh, they can carry a more single weighted fish and most of the time they also allow more um, a higher weight of total fish, but with uh, you can't release a fish because these hooks they will go through uh, through the fish, and that's how you keep it. And you keep it on land, so uh, they won't uh, stay alive the moment you've got them. Whereas here, with uh, uh, keep nets, uh, you can keep the fish, and if you've got a bigger one but your net is full, you have the option to release uh, one of your smaller fish and keep the bigger one. So, uh, whatever you do, either if you uh, purchase this one or purchase uh, that one, it's uh, it's totally up to you. Um, but uh, if you're going to spend gold, uh, this is something you could do. Uh, I myself, I'm going to save up for this guy. Because this one allows me to bring four rods, but also a reel. And you'll see that uh, the normal ones that you can buy for this don't have that. Anyways, that was on a sidetrack. We now have bought uh, the Easy uh, Go Bell Pocket and the Hobby Gear uh, Terminal Tackle. So, here it is. This is what we have right now. We have the Oval Bobber. We had the hooks 10, 8, and 6. And what we've uh, gained is uh, Slim Bobbers. And these are used for uh, penfish that uh, don't like the uh, amount of, uh, how do you say it, uh, drag. That they have to pull on the water with the oval bobber, uh, bobbers. So uh, these are uh, great for catching, uh, for instance, uh, uni bluegills, a unique uh, fish. But right now it's not like we need them really, uh, really much. We're still going after bias and stuff like that. Hook number four, however, is something that we do want. Pardon me. And the reason for that is because um, here you see hook. Um, number 10, number 8, number 6, number 4. And it doesn't mean that your hook is getting smaller. It actually means that your hook is getting bigger. And while well, here you see the 1 slash O, 2 slash O, 3 slash O, these are actually the hooks that are getting bigger. So uh, the 1 slash O is a smaller hook than the 2 slash O. And the 2 slash O is a smaller hook than 3.0. Whereas the Hook number 10 is the smallest hook you can get. And hook number 8 is a little bit bigger. Hook number 6 is a bit bigger than hook 8. And hook 4 is the biggest of them all that you can get at level 3. So because we are also after uh, the bigger fish, we're going to buy a bigger hook. Because they have bigger mouths. So that's it for our terminal tackle. Uh, lures. Because we now have a casting rod, we can also purchase lures. And I myself, I prefer these kinds, the casting spoons over the slops. Um, it's something uh, that has to do with the technique. I use a lift and drop a little, uh, a lot, I mean. And it's uh, something that I'll explain in a, in a later video, the different techniques. Anyways, uh, what you want to do is you want to buy both the silver and the gold. Silver is uh, good for uh, cloudy days, whereas gold is good to catch uh, fish on, on sunny days. There was our baits, 
Now we go to our licenses. Here we say the all the types of different licenses. <coughs> Pardon me. We're uh, currently in the uh, basic uh, in uh, Missouri, we have our basic license. So here we can see that we have to release the grass pickerel and a trophy grass pickerel, and uh, that there are no restrictions on uh, what we have to take, and that there are no prohibited species. Um, because we right now already have our uh, casting gear with, uh, with the spoons, you can also go for grass pickerel. So it's very wise that for next time you purchase uh, a license. Here you see uh, what it's going to cost you. And mind that the days and weeks and uh, time that's uh, mentioned here. One day, three day, the week, the month and the unlimited. These stand for real life days. So if I purchase this one at uh, say 7 uh, p.m. in the evening. Then it uh, lasts until the next day tomorrow 7 p.m. in the evening. So it's not in-game days, it's real life days. So be aware of that. Uh, most of the time I purchase something like this. And uh, when I'm really up in my money, I like to buy the unlimited uh, license. Because it means that if I fish on that, that spot uh, a lot, um, it's uh, in the end it's uh, going to cost me less to have the unlimited license than to uh, constantly purchase. And... Uh, well, it's, it's just uh, also easier. Anyways, um, for now, um, I think that covers it. Let me go uh, back home. Here you can see we've purchased this one. We have this one added. And then here are our two spoons. We have the bigger line, hook number four. And if we go here, we see that we have the value spin. And the mini spin 1200. So that's it for uh, for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them uh, in the section below. And I hope to see you next time. Happy days and tight lines. Bye bye.